Alright, so this is the 2017 Nissan 370Z Nismo. This one has the tech package, so it has like the navigation and, and things on it. And the, the few things that you'll notice on the interior, the Alcantara uh, on the steering wheel is really nice. You have it here on the, on the door panel. This is a really nice interior. It's a little cramped, it's a little tight, but it's a sports car. It's kind of how I think a sports car should be. A couple little things that I don't like if I'm being picky is the where you adjust the seat back. It's really tight and cramped and I'm wearing a watch and it feels like I'm either tearing up my watch or tearing up the interior to, to adjust my seat back. Um, that's about it really that, that bugs me about this car. Um, other than that, I mean, it drives great and it rides, rides really stiff. But the nice thing about this is with it being the Nismo, you get a little bit more horsepower uh, than your standard 370Z. This one's up to 350 horsepower and it's motivated by the rear wheels, which you gotta love a rear wheel drive car. And I love that Nissan has really stuck to their roots in their Z cars and keeping these rear wheel drive, you can still get them in a manual transmission. I mean, this is a driver's car and you can't knock a driver's car. I guess the the other thing that might be a little bit of the, a complaint is the price. The MSRP on this thing is, I have the sticker right back here, does that say $46.9? It seems pretty steep for what this is from the outside looking in. But I think once you drive it and you kind of fall for it, if, if it's something you like, if you're a Z guy, you're going to fall in love with this car. Acceleration test, second gear. Uh, not bad. <laughs> Does pretty good. That 350 horsepower is nice. Um, the road noise is a little loud uh, from these tires, um, but <clears throat> do you really want this car to be nice, quiet, and comfy? No. I mean, look at the body styling, the body kit on it. Everything looks aggressive. This car feels aggressive, and that's how you want it, in, in my opinion, in this car. So here we go. I might get quiet here because <laughs> I'm going to be focusing. We'll see how she does. I like the rev matching for downshifting because I don't have to think about it right now. fantastic oh that was exhilarating oh my goodness Whew. wow those spring the spring rates being much more higher it's uh, it's stiff but for this car that fits its character the character of this car is to be aggressive is to be uh, really focused on the driving experience and I tell you what it's a good experience it really is <laughs> it's fun so overall I really like this car I love the seats these Recaro seats are incredible they hold you well I love how this car looks I the previous, like the 350Z Nismo, was a little bit too much. It kind of made it look like a, uh, like a shark in the front. It was just a little bit too aggressive. They've they've toned it back a little bit, and I love how this car looks. Um, I really love uh, how direct the steering is. I love the gear shifter. I there's a lot to like about this car. I mean, like I said, there's only two little things that I don't like about it. The brakes are a little touchy at first, and then when you your watch feels like it's in the way of adjusting your seat back. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well, all under Carguments. 
please check out my website as well at carguments.net. And yeah, have an awesome day. This has made my day awesome. I really, really enjoyed driving this car. I want to give a big thank you to Fort Wayne Nissan for allowing me to do this with you today. Please check out the link to their website in the description below. Thanks again for watching.